Hey there YouTubers, right? So in this video, we have the Noctua NH U14S with uh, one of the standard fans. Uh, of course, that is not the one that goes with this, but the one that goes with the uh, Chromax model. So um, what I want to do in this video, folks, we're going to run a benchmark, see what the uh, temps get up to on this, all right? I'm just going to do XTU. Keeping this at the uh, the standard uh, silent silent mode on this one. We'll also have a decibel reader. And then over here, folks, if I can adjust this camera, we'll get a, a benchmark score, temperature, and some other information from this. Now, once I do that, I'm then going to switch it out for the 3000 RPM. 140 millimeter fan. I'm gonna run it twice, once at silent settings and then full blown, all right? So let's go ahead and run the first benchmark. Now I gotta shut up for this so it doesn't affect the decibel reader. The decibel reader may not be in the ideal spot, but this is the spot we're gonna uh, look at it so I can actually get it on camera. So we'll come back and check out those temps and everything in a second. So about 45.6 was the highest score. 13346. 93 was the high. So you could look at the uh, the run before this, which was uh, the score was a little higher and the temperature was hotter. Now, if we come down, hopefully you guys can read this. Our core voltage max was 1.396. CP utilization got up to 96. Recent max 5.66. 299 watts, 297, 299 in that range, all right? So I'm now going to uh, shut this down, switch out the CPU cooler, and run it again. All right, so we now have the 3000 RPM model on here. So just as it's booting up, you can tell this thing's gonna get pretty noisy. All right, folks, so we're back in. And uh, I'm actually kind of waiting until it bottoms out a little. We saw a 31. I have seen decibels up to 66. So this thing is going to be ungodly uh, noisy. And it is the first uh, CPU cooler where I've been honestly like two feet away, three feet away. I can feel the uh, the airflow. Um, you know, what were my hopes with this? That one day I would buy two of these to go with my Noctua D15 um, or maybe the D14, whichever one this will fit. Uh, one of those has um, fans on it that are special to it uh, that don't work with the other. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so 68.7 was the loudest that got. Now check this out though. We are four to five degrees cooler um, just by switching out the fan. And of course, if you can deal with that much noise, <laughs> then, you know, lo and behold, you're doing all right. Now, the score was comparative to the second run, so no gains there. And what do we have? 
and actually less power draw on that one go figure so now I'm going to reboot it we'll go in and change the default so this thing's cranking full the whole time all right so we're in the BIOS and just so you know this is the uh, Gigabyte Z790 UDAC uh, we do have an i9-13900KF in there 32 gigs of 5200 megahertz RAM you know all the stuff that I may have obviously forgotten to mention now we're going to go into smart fan we could screw around with the curves in here right but I'm just going to go all out folks we're going full speed and actually it was normal so that's pretty damn loud right we will see obviously the temp is going to get a little lower so let's exit out of here and go into Windows. All right, of course, you know, it's going to update right now. But, uh, you know, one thing I had made on one of my other channels, a video discussing things that you could do to get your temps down on these 13 gen CPUs. One thing that I failed to discuss in that video, so maybe I will make it again, is, you know, either an aggressive fan curve uh, changing the default, obviously, from silent to normal to full. And, you know, switching out the fan for a higher RPM one, if that's an option, right? So, talking, you know, 1,500 to 3,000, uh, 4 or 5 degree temp difference there. Uh, you know, if you're doing benchmarks, hey, why not, right? If that was the goal. Uh, gaming, this may be too noisy for a lot of people, unless they're wearing a headset with a uh, noise canceling or something on it. But, uh, you know, between that, you know, if you're recording, this would be uh, obviously not, would not work for anybody that's recording unless you had this computer in another room. Still, still rocking along. Yep, some kind of update going on. All right, finally we're in here. I think that was like 20 minutes of my time, but you guys... Uh, Hopefully it's only about 10 seconds wasted. All right, so this thing is screaming along. We'll wait till uh, we'll wait till that gets down to uh, 30 or so. All right, so temps look good on that. Let's go ahead and run this thing. All right, so 68.7 or whatever I think was the high. So you can see the score there, a little higher than the last two runs. Temp, though, look at that, 86 degrees, folks. That is down 7 to 8 degrees just by using this ridiculously loud CPU fan on the Noctua NHU-14S. I do believe we might be able to overclock with this thing. Now, since we're in here... Let us go ahead and run uh, Cinebench. I know you guys would be disappointed if I did not run that for you. All right, so here we go. Actually, let me check the temps real quick. Back down to 31. And I will reset this. We want new data. And we'll punch it. This should go pretty fast. This is one hell of a CPU after all. Oh, thermal throttles. Dang it. We thermal throttles. All that for nothing. So if we go in, 40,215 for the score though. 
I will take that with a little thermal throttle. But there you go, folks. I hope you got something out of the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.